Hey guys, Chris and I want to talk to you about five things we learn by coming to the Florida Keys. And you need to know these things before you plan a trip down here. It would have saved us a little bit of headache and a little bit of stress. Yeah. Those beautiful tropical breezes. When you're driving down here, you got to be extremely careful. These winds get whipping. When we came down on our first Saturday, it was blowing almost 50. If we could have pulled over, we would have. Yeah, so it's not safe to travel when it's really high wind, so be mindful of that. We were talking to the Navy cop, and he was saying that unfortunately a few times a year, they actually have motorhomes and trailers that flip over on Highway 1 on the Keys. So make sure that you look in advance, know what's going on with the weather, so you don't put yourself in a predicament where you're endangering yourself or your family. Hey guys, another thing to take into consideration when you're planning a trip to the Keys is that unfortunately, a lot of people do die down here, both from the travel in and out on the roads and also the water sports. It's kind of the nature of the tourism. If you're doing extreme sports, you gotta be extremely careful. It's not something we thought much about, but as we were driving down, they've got a sign on the side of the road on the highway that says that uh, this year alone, since March, there's been 14 people killed on the way to Key West. Yeah, you gotta be very careful, guys. Um, mind the rules of the road, your speed, and pay attention to road conditions, weather. Check the weather report along the way. And you know, the, the bumper stickers always say, look twice for motorcycles down here. You gotta look for pedestrians, bicycles, mopeds, golf carts, <laughs> you name it. Yeah, Chris had to make a trip to the store, just a, like not even a mile away, and he saw someone get thumped in a, a Vespa. Yeah, unfortunately the Vespa was sitting at the stop sign doing exactly everything the right. The person behind him was on the phone and just smacked right into him. Luckily it was he was okay. The bike was totaled, but you know, the individual was able to walk away, but you know, be mindful when you're down here. Be careful. Yep. You can save someone's life including your own. Okay, let's go. This one you're going to have to put it like PAS2 and probably get at it a little bit. Wow, I'm glad we're recording. Yeah. That's a prime example of an <laughs> doesn't pay attention. That will be going on our freaking YouTube channel. Well, let's talk about it. We're recording. So one of the things you need to be super prepared for is people that don't pay attention, like Keys Pool Service that jump to curb to get around us. On the way down, Chris and I were coming to Key West but throughout all the little islands, there were smells. No one's ever talked about the smells that come. I had looked at Chris and he looked at me and we thought we each... You know, had a little bit of a exhale out of the Southern region, if you will. <laughs> there is some stench on some of these islands. And no one's talked about it. You need to know if you're coming down and ain't your spouse ventilating, yeah. there's some funky smells coming down the islands. Yeah, part two of that little tip, just to let you know about the smells, don't roll your windows down. We did that thinking it would just pass through. It fumigated it the whole cab of the truck. It was gross. So <laughs> it stinks and we said it. Yes. <laughs> but the views were great. Absolutely. <laughs> I know one of the things that Martha and I found shocking on the way down was that uh, Google Maps, or in our case, Apple Maps, was extremely, extremely wrong on the amount of time it was going to take to travel down here. The Keys has one lane road in and out. So there was a couple of festivals going on which did slow our progress. And keep in mind, when you are towing, it is going to go slower than what Apple Maps says. It doesn't know, Apple Maps doesn't know that you're towing. It also doesn't know that you're going to be uh, having one lane of traffic governed by cops as you get through those two different locations. So it made it so it was extremely difficult to get through. It was slow. And it took us, what, three hours longer than what it initially said when we left? Yeah. Uh, the other thing that shocked me, because I had no clue this was even a thing, especially after being all my years in law enforcement, I never saw this. The Keys in certain areas actually have a daytime speed limit and a nighttime speed limit. So Apple Maps does not adjust for the speed limits for the days or nights. So if you're coming through and it gets dark, the speed drops 10 miles an hour, which doesn't sound like much, but that goes down to about 35 miles an hour in most areas, which makes it crawl when you're talking an 80 mile drive one way. 
Yeah, if you are going up to Camp in Key West or any part of the Keys, um, check ahead and see what time check-in is and what time the last check-in is because we got in after sunset, so we did not get to check into our campsite until the next day, and we had to park in the parking lot and dry camp. But they were aware that we were going to do that, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I but it definitely goes back to like you were saying that we needed to plan ahead better and understand how long it was going to take to get down here. We had no clue going into this. And when it said, oh, this will be a five hour drive, we expect it to be a five hour drive, not closer to nine. And being in the Keys, they do work on island time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Slow down, relax, <laughs> take your time because nobody's in a hurry. I can say one thing about island time though. I'm digging it. Steel drum music, golf carts, laid back people, lots and lots of food. I'm loving this. Most of the hotels you guys are open to the public even if you're not staying there. So we had the opportunity to go to different hotels and hang out at the pool. They have live music, drinks, uh, and then of course be respectful. You missed the most important thing other than live music and drinks, that's food. Yeah, there's food. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza was good. Yeah, we did share pizza and it was amazing, you guys. One of the things we wanted to talk to you guys about before coming down to the Keys is extreme allergies. Make sure that if you have seasonal allergies anywhere in this country, you bring every bit of allergy medicine that you own. Yes, it hit us like a freight train. We get seasonal allergy, but it hit us hard coming down here. We spent at least a week before we felt comfortable enough to record to the where we're at right now because it was brutal. Yeah, and it was high winds, so all that pollen was just floating around the air and just smacking us upside the head like a freight train. The, the locals are telling us, hey, the palm trees, it's the palm pollen. And I'm like, what? Palm pollen? Didn't know that it was a thing, you guys. If it isn't, whatever it is, is legit. So make sure you take whatever allergy meds you carry with you and bring them down here and a lot of Kleenex. Yes, luckily for Chris and I, we keep our allergy pills with us in our trailer. So we both had our own allergy pills. We had Flonase and we even went as far as bought local honey. Yeah, the local honey helped quite a bit too. It's getting your body used to what's going on around you, getting used to that environment. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. We went to a farmer's market right by the Coast Guard ships and we talked to the person who was selling the honey and we said, we need something for allergies around here. And, and she let us taste test. Yeah, we taste test. And you know what? We were feeling better by the end of the day. Yep. So it was amazing, you guys. So yep, be prepared. You may suffer from allergies around here. So you see this really long line behind me? This is the line for the most southern point of Florida. Well, actually the tourist attraction for the most southern point. The most southern point is actually on the Navy base. Chris and I got to go there, but you have to have base access to do that. So we had to do both. So if you are in Key West, this is definitely a must go see attraction and get your picture. Uh, come early, be prepared to stand in line for a long time, and make friends with the folks around you. It'll be more enjoyable that way. So there you have it. There's our tips for what we learned coming down to the Florida Keys. Make sure you take advantage of these tips when you're planning your trip. Leave early, know that it stinks, traffic sucks, it slows down when it gets dark, and don't get yourself dead, please. And bring your allergy medicine if you take allergy medicine. <laughs> Because if not, you're going to have all the sniffles. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't mention before, the bugs do come out at night. Bring Benadryl and bring bug spray. Have fun. Enjoy it. It's gorgeous. It's just different, y'all. Yep, the views are beautiful, and we loved it here. Most importantly, if you have some tips or tricks that you can share with us that we can share with our community, let us know what advice you have so that when somebody else is planning their trip down here, they don't get caught off guard or by surprise like we did on a few things. Other than that, have a great day. Enjoy every moment. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.